Hey, and welcome to my very first World of Warcraft guide. Today I'm going to cover a few things such as add-ons, simming, and keybinds, as well as a few other tricks that are going to help you improve your overall gameplay. So, well, without further ado, let's get into it. All right, we're gonna start off with add-ons. Um, first things first, I use wowup.io to manage all of my add-ons. I used to use the Twitch, you know, add-on manager, which was fantastic, but for some reason they decided to break away and turn into a curse, which was just awful and laggy and buggy. So do yourself a favor, get wowup.io. It'll manage all your add-ons beautifully. It's fantastic. Um, we're gonna start now with LVY, this bad boy right here. LVY is a complete UI replacement. Uh, it will, you know, change your bags, everything. It's fantastic. It has a whole bunch of customized options, as well as some features that you don't get with the normal stock UI. Uh, there's tons of profiles out there on wago.io, and I'll even go ahead and include a link uh, to my personal profile in, a, in the description down below. Um, now, next, after that, I want to talk about Pawn. Now, Pawn is actually gonna play a little bit of a role when we get into simming, but it's something you should download because it keeps track of your stat weights. I'll explain more what stat weights are here in a minute, but it's a definite uh, definite grab for sure. Uh, speaking of that, you can't really use Pawn without Simulation Craft. Simulation Craft is another add-on that's gonna allow you to sim your character. It's gonna spit out a big block of text that you're gonna take over to a website and use it to, you know, run all kinds of sims, including what's an upgrade and what's your current stat weights. After that, um, Plater. Now, Plater nameplates offers a really good view of what your enemies are currently doing while you're in a fight. It will displays things really clear as to what casts are going off. Well, even you can change how the bars look above your enemy's heads. Uh, that way you can tell that if a certain mob might cast fear and you need to watch that mob, it will, you know, highlight it with a different color. There's lots of neat options in there. I highly recommend using Plater. Um, now, uh, let's see. All right, all right, details. Now, details damage meter is a fantastic little add-on to keep track of all kinds of things from your DPS, your healing to interrupts, deaths, enemy casts, there's tons of information that keeps track of. Very good little add-on to get, highly recommended. Um, after that, deadly boss mods. Now, deadly boss mods, or DBM as we call it, uh, is a add-on that alerts you to mechanics in fights. Um, so if you ever are a person that finds that, you know, yourself standing in something you shouldn't or missing a move that you should have made, DBM will warn you, will tell you, hey, you need to do this or this is coming up. Great add-on, make sure you grab it. Um, there's also voice packs out there. I use DBM voice pack VEM, but I know Hazelnutty has put out a voice pack if you like Hazel. Uh, there's a bunch, it's fantastic. Lastly, I'm gonna talk about Weak Ores. Uh, Weak Ores allows you to import customizable icons and warnings um, from wago.io, which is a huge database of all kinds of things. So you can get uh, trackers for your trinkets, certain abilities for your class. Uh, you can set up warnings for anything, really. Any cast by a boss, it's really good. Check out uh, Weak Ores for sure. So as you can see, I have a whole bunch of add-ons here. Uh, some of them are just to help me out. Others are just a little bit of flavor. Um, I'm not gonna go into all of them because, well, as you can see, there's quite a few and we don't have that kind of time. So let's uh, move on to simming and how to get stat weights. All right, let's go into how to sim your character. So it's actually fairly simple. Um, using Simulation Craft, you can take a snapshot of your character's current stats, uh, gear, 
talents, everything. So let's take uh, my little gnome here, Frankenshot. Uh, now, Frankenshot's a beast mastery hunter. So let's start off with grabbing a snapshot of him. So I type in slash sim C, uh, which if you have simulation craft installed, will pop up this little window. Then you do a simple control C to copy, hit okay. And then we're gonna go over to a website here. All right, over to this website here. This is raidbots.com. Now it's actually fully free, but if you get a little $5 subscription, it allows you to skip the line and adds a few more features that I personally recommend. Now take that snapshot and you're gonna go over to stat weights and plug it in here, paste. Um, now select, I, I typically do dungeon slice because I focus mostly on mythic plus, but if you're a raider, you can pick patchwork or maybe hectic add, add leave, execute patchwork, whatever you really want. Um, but I recommend just going with dungeon slice and then hit generate stat weights. So after a few minutes, depending on if you have uh, the subscription or not, it will complete. So we'll just fast forward here. Okay. All right. So it has spit out my stat weights and given me a little little breakdown of what my overall DPS should look like if I played the game perfectly. Remember, don't expect yourself to be at this number. It's a little, little unrealistic. But here we go. So stat weights are out. Now what this means is stat weights are how, what each point of your stat is worth in DPS. So I can see here that um, one point of agility is worth 3.73 DPS. Uh, this is how you keep track of what stats are best for you. Um, now it spits out a lovely little string down here. Let's copy that. And we're gonna go over back to World of Warcraft. Okay, and we're gonna type slash pawn to open up pawn. Now we're gonna go click scale, manual, import scale, paste that in there. Hit okay. Now this is loaded in your current stat weights as they are with this set of gear. Meaning what Pawn does, and it's really cool, is if you hover over a piece of gear, now it says in a little tool tip here, uh, it will say Frankenshot. Um, oh, I'm currently blocking this with my shoulder. Uh, all right, there we go. Uh, Frankenshot, Beast Mastery, Dungeon Slice. This is a 21% upgrade. Oh, all right. Well, that's that's good to know. Now, one thing to keep in mind is as you upgrade your gear and gain more of a certain stat, that's going to shift your stat weights. So you have to constantly be updating these. I mean, if you really want to keep it on track, update it after every piece of new gear or at least like once a week. All right, so that gives you the basic rundown of stat weights. Um, a good way to make sure that you're always equipping the right piece of gear and like you can instantly tell by hovering over a new piece of gear that drops if it's an upgrade for you or not that way if it's not you can pass it to one of your friends that may benefit from it uh you know more than you would so um moving on i'll show you a neat little thing here with raid bots as well so using sim c so let's again let's grab that sim c uh, print out right there, hit control C to copy. We're gonna go back to that browser. Okay, this time let's go to the main page and I'm gonna go to top gear. I'm going to paste in that snapshot and it's gonna load in all the options. And now when we go down, we can see all the gear that I currently have equipped and in my bag. This is super useful for things like trinkets. So you can see like, I currently have three trinkets. I have the Mist Collar um, Ocarina. Yeah, so I can click on that. It means that I wanna test to see which ones are better of those three. I can come down here, I can select if I wanna test sim all the stats on the rings. This is for enchants. 
but what enchant on my ring would be best. Um, you can, you know, do soul binds just by selecting the different soul binds you want to test against each other. Uh, you can go in here and you can click all the different spec stuff. Here, let's just do this. Boom. We're going to select everything. Oh, no, can't quite get everything. But we'll unselect that and we'll hit dungeon slice again. Find top gear. It's going to kick us back over here and processing. All right. So now it's spit out at us what the current top spec and gear from the options we picked is. Uh, you can see here that it's picked all the talents that I'm actually currently using. If anything was changed, it would be highlighted to let you know that it was changed. Otherwise, it just, you know, stays the same. Now, if you scroll down here, you can see the slight diff differences with the different talents. It shows you if you had Trailblazer and Binding Shot, it would have given you this damage, you know, so on and so forth. You can see all the way down all the different combinations that it sends together. Kind of cool if you want to just take a look at the data. But uh, yeah, this is a great way to quickly, if you're not exactly sure if a trinket um, is going to work up well for you, this is a good way to test out. All right, now let's move on to e bike. All right, guys, now we're going to move on to key bindings. Key bindings, probably one of the most important things if you want to improve your gameplay. Um, those few, like half a second to a second it takes you to click something, this wasted time. And if you bind everything to your keyboard or mouse, you can save yourself those precious seconds and really help pump out those extra high numbers. So, um, uh, using LVI, uh, key, using LVUI, key bindings are super simple. I'll show you. You hit escape and you go to LVUI, click action bars, go to key bind mode. You can now select anything from one of the bars you have. All you need to do is hover over whatever you want to bind and then just strike that key. So for instance, this one uh, is bound to my numpad five. So at five, it would bind it there. Then you can hit save. And now whenever you hit numpad five, which is on my mouse, I need to target something it will activate that button. Now, I recommend binding every one of your active abilities that you use. I go as far as to bind my pots, um, my mounting, like everything, every action I could possibly take within a dungeon is either bound to my keyboard or bound to my mouse. Now, I recommend getting a gaming mouse. So personally, I use like the Scimitar RBG Elite. It's a fantastic little mouse. Um, it's held up pretty well. I've also in the past used the, the Naga, the Naga Chroma. Uh, which I found out, you know what? The Chroma just didn't hold up. I burnt through two Chromas in less than a year. Um, like the, the click would just start to go or something would happen. So the Scimitar though seems to be holding up pretty good. We're just over a year now and she's going strong. So I recommend getting the Corsair Scimitar if you're looking for a gaming mouse. But yeah, when you once you add everything to a keybind, you're gonna notice a huge difference in your gameplay. And using LVUI, it has never been easier to do that. Now, if you do get the scimitar, there's a few little things on how to set that up. Maybe I'll do a video on that, but it's it's pretty self-explanatory. You just have to go into their software and set up like the numpad keys or whatever keys you want to designate for your keybinds um, to the mouse. I, I put the one through 12 on my mouse as my like one through 12 on my numpad. Uh, it makes that pretty simple. Now, lastly, there's a few things I want to show you guys that I personally do to just make sure that I'm staying, you know, current and on top of things. Um, and that's that's actually going to a couple different websites. Now, I'm going to bring that up here. All right. So first website is subcreation.net. Now, this is a fantastic site that pulls 
um, sims in from multiple different sources and condenses all the information for you in a fairly easy to understand format. I'll show you how it works here. So let's start off. We're going to go Mythic Plus. So Mythic Plus Season 1. Uh, this just gives you, it shows you what the current affixes are for Mythic Plus this week and gives you, shows you which, like from S to F, which have the difficulty of the dungeons, um, what tank is best, what tank is worst, which healers are best, which healers are worst, so on and so forth. That's a cool little information just to peek at. Um, but now let's, let's, we want to look at our character itself. So I'm a BM hunter. So let's go ranged beast mastery hunter. Talent builds. So it's showing me here all the current talent builds that are used to clear these keys. So 20s, 19s, uh, you can see the percentage overall. So 26.98% of keys that are done at 20 have been completed using this talent build. Oh, so, and also if you look over here, same with legendaries, you can see that 60 or 70% of, uh, of, BM hunters that are pushing are using this legendary. That's pretty cool. And then we scroll down. We see our soul bind abilities, soul binds. Uh, looks like, yeah, definitely Night Fae being used with Naya. We have the conduits with the different conduit builds, even the individual conduits used. And then all the gear. This is a really useful part. So you can check, see what. Like if you're trying to shop for gear, you can come over here and be like, oh, I, I need something for my neck. What what are the top guys using? This is where I come all the time. You can take a look at all the different pieces as well as an enchants, uh, chest enchants, uh, rest enchants, engineering belt stuff. Uh, the next really useful thing is trinkets. I know a lot of people are like, what trinkets do I use? Well, let's go take a look at the big boys, see what they're running with. So it looks like mostly it's the inscrutable quantum device with a stone legion heraldry or an overcharged mana battery. Um, some people are using the dread fire vessel, but you get, it gives you a pretty good idea of what to do. So that's the first website I want to show you guys. The next is raider.io now a lot of you probably already know this site for those of you who don't raider.io is basically keeps track of everything all the runs in mythic plus all the runs in raid and it records it to this website so that we can have access to that information and kind of check on other players um, I personally use it mostly so I can go and look at the top guys. So I'll go to Mythic Plus, uh, I'll go to Spec, Leaderboards, Coach, Hunter, Beast Mastery Hunter, boom. So these are all the top Beast Mastery Hunters in the world, their current IO score. Now IO score is a score generated by the dungeons you do. Each dungeon at a certain level has a certain value. That value is added up to give you a total score. Let's go, let's check out uh, Yu Hang. So, Yu Hang, here we go. We got a crazy score of 2136. We go down here, we can see what gear he's using, what talents he's using. And also, if you want to peek, peek, these are all the dungeons he's completed. And if they got a little star beside them, that means it was on time. Now, um, all if you want to join this and have your information uploaded, get the raider.io add-on. It's a, it's a fun little add-on. Some people don't like it because it can breed a bit of uh, elitism. And that's true. But honestly, it's a great tool to see looking at pugs if somebody has done something. Because it's a shot in the dark with pugs. You don't know what this guy's done before. This gives you an idea. All right, so this pretty much wraps it up for the useful websites. There's a few other little ones I might touch on in another video, um, but I, I wanna try and keep this video somewhat short as possible. Um, thanks for sticking around to the end. If you did, I hope you learned something. I'll see you guys uh, on stream. Uh, come check me out Monday to Friday, uh, 7 to 11 Pacific Standard Time. It's twitch.tv forward slash Frankenex. I'll see you guys there.
Have a good one.